Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will be uh, making a new sensor introduction that is TCS3414 and to have a better idea regarding the sensor let's visit the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this sensor and let's see what we got as you can see it's a 16-bit digital color sensor programmable analog in I2C mini module it's a, a color sensor in short as you can see these are some of its reasonable features which you can see also you can have the purchasing power uh, for this sensor from this website furthermore I will be interfacing the color sensor TCS3414 with the BeagleBone black and I will be using the software platform for C language and to get that uh, code go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample as you can see now you can download the C code sample as required from you that's correct and also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now let's have a look over the hardware setup we need to make well in the hardware setup part first of all the requirement of uh, is the beagle bone black which you can see on my screen and this here is an i2c shield it's available on the website control everything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make easy connections with other i2c devices so for that gently place this i2c shield over the beagle bone black and make a connection like that now we require our sensor that's the color sensor tcs3414 and this here is a connecting cable now make the connection and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C sheet. Now we need to power up our beagle bone black and for that we require two things and the first thing is a mini USB cable just like that and gently insert it over here on this jack. The next we need is an adapter of 5 volt which you can see and gently put it over this power jack. The last part is to provide internet connection and there are two ways. First of all is to provide an internet connection using an ethernet or a LAN cable as you can see on my screen and gently insert it over this ethernet jack. You can also use a wireless nano USB adapter for that. Now as we are done with the connections part, now what we require is to have a look upon C code and let's interface. In the interfacing part we need to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. And then we have to log in here and we have to search for the sensor that is TCS3414 and here it comes and this is the C code. Let's have a look upon the instructions in which first of all we have to set up and connect the beagle bone black and the relevant information how to set up and everything is on the link which is beagleboot.org and after that we have to download or git pull the code in beagle bone black and after that this is the command to compile and this to run the C code please note it down carefully and after that go back to the C code as you notice it's a .c file now in the code we have included some of the files some of the header files as you can see and in the void main function we have to create an i2c bus and check whether it is good to go and after that we have the i2c device and the address of the sensor is 0x39 next in the writing section part we are selecting control register 0x00 or with command register that is 0x80 and we are sending the command to power on and ADC enable that is 0x03 and here comes the writing part and then we are selecting gain register having address 0x07 or with command register 0x80 and we are sending the command for gain is equal to 1x prescalar mode equal to divide by 1 that is 0x00 the writing command is here and then we have a sleep or delay of 1 second after that we are in the reading part where we are reading 8 bytes of data from the register 0x10 or with command register 0x80 then we have a green red blue and clear data after that we have a condition regarding the authenticity of the reading data we have just gone and then we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines provided here then we have an ambient light luminance which you can see and here it is and at the very end we have the output to be displayed on the screen we have to print it and it's green red blue color luminance clear data luminance and the ambient light luminance all the luminance are in lux which is the unit so this is our code now what do we require with our code is to show the working and the practicality of it 
now let's have a look over the working environment part and in this part first of all we have to copy this entire code as you can notice on my screen and after that we have to open up the terminal for the beaglebone black and here we have to run the command as you can see on my screen uh, first of all we have to create a file with .c extension and then we have to paste the code and at last uh, we have to save it in this part after that uh, this is the command as you can see on my screen this is the compilation command as you have already noticed in the instructions part and the code has been compiled successfully now to build and run the command the code specifically the command is here and you can see the green red blue clear data and the ambient light luminance and it's almost constant as I am running the command again and again because there is no interference regarding the intensity of light falling onto the sensor but when I bring some object or some source or uh, interference onto the sensor you can see the decrease in the luminance for all the values for RGBC and the ambient light luminance but instead when I bring some light source over to the sensor you can see the increase in the values for RGBC and the ambient light luminance which is reflected onto the screen so this is how the sensor responds now let's have a look over the applications and the benefits of this sensor the TCS 3414 digital color light sensor is designed to accurately derive the color chromaticity and illuminance of ambient light and provide a digital output with 16 bit of resolution the device include an 8x2 array of filtered photodiodes analog to digital converters and control functions on a single monolithic CMOS integrated circuit the applications the end products or the market segment for this particular sensor TCS 3414 are HDTVs tablets laptops monitors medical instrumentation consumer toys industrial commercial lighting and industrial process control this sensor is available and can be purchased from the website that is called controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab after clicking on the code you can download the code as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end I would just like to make it clear that for any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and if you want to post some comments go to our community page for articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor and the video go to instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials you can visit our youtube channel in the end I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself thanks a lot for watching